Okay, we're gonna go through the home screen here and just uh, run through some of the different menus and see how you set up the, uh, the device and, and we'll run some samples. So this is the home screen here. Uh, you wanna set up your sampling time. This is where you would set your delay. This, is, this would be where you wanna set up your sample time. And then you can also set up your sample volume units, either in cubic feet, cubic meters, or liters. You can tell it uh, how many cycles you want to run and your hold time in between samples. And this is also where you could do your deletions right here. Channel management. So the channels are variable. You can change the size uh, of each channel depending on what you may be looking for. Uh, the only caveat is you can't go smaller than the previous channel. So, for example, on channel 3, I couldn't go less than 0.5 microns. Um, here's where you would set your alarm and then also your density and refractive index is, is set here. The reason you may want to change your density or refractive index is if you knew, for example, if you're looking for silica dust and you knew the, the density is 4.0, then you could change that there. Otherwise, you just want to leave it as is. You can name certain locations. So, if, for example, if you wanted to uh, make location one an office, you could go ahead and edit it and, and change the name. Configuration. It's gonna automatically store into the memory, which stores 45,000 records. It's gonna automatically store those as long as they're full. If you, if you run a partial sample, it's not gonna store it unless you select right here. You can also change your language and your number format right here. Here's your factory reset as well. Let's see your screens so when it's running a sample you can choose what you want to see so if you want to see the particles the graph and uh, the PM environmentals and the real-time meter you would just select or deselect that there password setup self-explanatory Environment, if you want to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius or change your alarm settings, you can do that here. Uh, communication, you can, you can do uh, wirelessly or through Ethernet connection. Here's your printer setup. And then here's, here's your main screen here. If you want to run reports, ISO reports, you could set, select that there. Once you make a, a recorded sample, all the data will be displayed on this screen. And this is what the screen looks like when you're actually running a sample. And you can, you can toggle through from cumulative and differential, cubic feet, cubic meter, and your PM. So we'll go ahead and run a sample so you can see what it looks like. You just select the green running man icon to start a sample.
So while it's running the sample, you can actually toggle between the screens. It's going to give you a graph. There's your PM count. If you want to your PM 10, if you want to see something different, you want to see PM 2.5. And there's a sample. So if you want to see all the data, you can go back to this screen and see all your numbers. Cubic feet, cubic meter, PM, and cumulative and differential.